Hi everybody. Um, this demonstration is for those of you who have more than one class in a term. URI has only given you one section number for those classes. So all of your students are appearing on the same Brightspace page. I'm going to show you how to make groups so that you can separate those students by class if you want to. And for everyone, just how to make groups for different activities that you may want to make groups for, etc. So the first thing I'll do is I will go to my course tools once I'm in the class and I'll go to groups. And right now I have no groups, so I'm going to create a new category. And I'm going to call this category Spring 2021. You don't have to put a description. You can put a description. It doesn't matter. I'm going to say that I have two classes, so I'm going to make two groups and that there are no restrictions. I can create workspaces if I want to. Um, I don't have to. I can do it at a later time. That's totally up to you. But if you're using discussion groups, if you're using assignments, um, if you're using the lockers for them to submit their work, then you want to do that. All right. You want to create workspaces either now or later. All right. Then I save that. And you see, I have two groups. Now I'll go into group one and I will rename it period four or whatever I want to call it. Writing 104 period four. Okay. Sure. And then I can put a description if I want to. I can go to group two and call it writing 104 period five. Okay. And now with my two groups, the next thing I want to do is populate them. So let's start with period four. So who's in period four? So I go to my class list. I enroll users. And I choose all the people in my class list that are in period four. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine students are in period four. Okay. And then in period five, I have these students. You can look at them afterwards. You can look at the members by clicking on the number and you will see, okay, all of these students are in my period four class. Yep, got it. All of these students are in my period five class. Uh, perfect, all right, great. So now that I've done that, the groups are made. So how does that benefit me? Well, for example, say I want to send an email to a group. I can go to the class list and I can view by group. And I can choose period four or I can choose period five. See if I choose period four, only those students are going to receive the email. Same thing in my gradebook. If I want to go to grades, if I just want to look at period four, then I'm only seeing that class. And it works that way with everything. It works that way with assignments. It works that way with discussions. You can create a quiz that's for one class but not for the other. Um, you can create different schedules. That's one, not for one class and not for the other. So once you've created those groups, you can use them individually. Or if you have something that's collective information for both groups, uh, you can leave it that way, however you want. So it's really pretty simple. I do use groups a lot uh, in my classes, but this should solve the problem of having more than one class in the same Brightspace page. Okay.